Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Today we're going to show how you can convert a fraction into a percent. And there's basically two ways that you can approach this. So I'm actually going to go through and show you both of those ways. Now the first way we're going to use with these two fractions right here. And it works by getting these fractions out of 100. That's because literally percent means of 100. So when I'm looking at this first one, 3 divided by 20, I want to change it into something out of 100. So imagine how I was able to get 100 on the bottom. So 20 times what is equal 100? Okay, think about that for a bit. Looks like 5 is the only thing that's going to do it. So I'm going to actually multiply on the bottom and on the top by 5. So let's see, 5 times 20, 100, looks good. 5 times 3 is 15. So my fraction becomes 15 divided by 100. So this is the same as 15%. All right, let's see this one more time. Okay, so with this fraction, I have 4 divided by 50. Again, think, how are you going to get a 100 on the bottom? So let's see, we'd have to double the 50 in order to get 100. So 2 on the bottom, 2 on the top. 2 times 4 is 8. So my new fraction is 8 out of 100. So this is the same as 8%. All right, now those ones weren't too bad, but you're probably thinking, hey, what about those fractions where I can't get a 100 on the bottom? For example, let's take this one, 7 ninths. No matter what you try and multiply 9 by, uh, you're not going to be able to get a 100 without using some decimals. So how are we going to do these ones? Well, as long as it's going to turn into a decimal anyway, these are, are good ones that you might punch into your calculator and actually get a decimal approximation for them. So when I type in 7 divided by 9, I get this number, 0 0.7777, and it just keeps on going. And then what I do is I take the decimal, and I change that into a percent. So remember, when you want to change a decimal into a percent, you basically take this decimal point, you move it over two spots, and you have your percentage. Now since this one does keep going on and on forever, I'm probably just going to round this to 77.8%. But you can see how the process works. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing with 11 divided by 4. Now this one you could, if you wanted to, actually get the bottom to equal 100. You just have to multiply the bottom and the top by 25. But let's go ahead and change it into a decimal, just so we can see this other process. So if you take 11 and you divide it by 4, you get... 2.75. Okay, so when looking at that decimal, move it to the right two spots. This will give you 275%. All right, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.